Hey guys, it's Scott here from Older and Wiser, and I have a very important question for you. Do you have TPMS? Whoa, 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 whoa. You cannot say that. You can't ask people that. You cannot no, no, say no. that. That's T not okay. TPMS, the tire pressure monitoring system. Oh. For, for the RV. <laughs> yeah. For, yeah, yes. you can ask people about that. Sorry. Okay. Carry on. Sure. Sounds like someone's got TPMS. Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us today. We are gonna talk about something pretty important um, and that is tire pressure monitoring systems, TPMS. Because <laughs> it's a safety thing. Um, when we first got the trailer, my biggest fear with the trailer was a tire blowout. Mm -hmm. And um, I did a ton of research, talked to a lot of people. How do I keep my tires from blowing out, right? Um, we can get to that in just a second because first I want to give you guys a little bit of backstory. We um, spoke pretty in depth with Katie's grandparents. Yes. Wonderful, amazing people who have accepted me into their life for some reason <laughs> um, and, and treat me like family, but they are full-time RVers. And they have been since I was in middle school. So it's a they, long, a very long, long time, long. they have had They've driven just about every rig imaginable. They've been all over the continent. They've had fantastic adventures and seen amazing things. And they are a wealth of knowledge and information for us. Oh my gosh, yes. They were so excited when we got our RV. The other thing is that Grandpa Rusty is an over the road trucker or was before he retired. Yes. So this man has so much knowledge as mm -hmm. far as things like that go. Yes. Why do I say that? Because when, um, when I started talking to grandma and grandpa about tire blowouts and things like that, um, tire pressure monitoring system was one of the first things they said. I also mentioned some of the other solutions people had had, um, that there was this big concern about these China bombs, which are supposedly these cheap knockoff tires that come... Um, Standard issue. Yeah, on your, on your trailers, and that there are just ticking time bombs waiting to explode. Um, and I, I know that it happens. I'm not discounting that. Right. Right. There's, there's going to be a million people out there that tell me stories about how it happened to them. But talking to Grandpa Rusty with all of his experience, and I've talked to three, four, four different RV mechanics now asking about this situation. Do I need to replace my tires? Every single one of them with, you know, the option to make money off of me said, no, you don't. Yeah. You don't need to replace your tires. Of course, Different tires are going to have different quality, but what causes the blowouts most of the time is an overinflated tire, or um, you're you're running at unsafe temperatures or speeds. They're rated for certain speeds. They're rated for certain temperatures. Mm -hmm. Having this tire pressure monitoring system is going to be our first line of defense in in getting um, in keeping ourselves safe and preventing a blowout. So. Yes, there are different quality tires. Yes, you can get better tires than others, but I just can't believe that you're automatically doomed with the tires that came on your trailer. Also, don't forget when you're doing your walk around after you hitch up before you get on the road, look at your tires. That's on my list because I'm the one that does the walk around and checks all the blinkers and the brake lights and everything but I also look at our tires and I look at them very, very closely just to make sure there's no obvious issues. There is, in, in all my research, I know I'm starting to ramble and, and maybe this will get cut, <laughs> but in all my research about preventing tire blowouts, I came across this school of thought that's gaining a little traction. Uh -huh. <sighs> um, <laughs> putting light truck tires on your RV. And I mentioned that to Grandpa Rusty and he says, no, that's a bad idea. Um, because the light truck tires don't have the reinforced sidewalls that the special trailer tires do. So they're gonna be a lot weaker around turns. They're not gonna give you the support that you need um, in those sidewalls. And it... Well, if you've ever noticed your rig taking a turn, because we actually delayed a trip because I noticed this and did not realize that this is what happens. The tires, when you're going around a turn, will go it will shift 
from side, you know, they'll, they'll look like they're wobbling. I thought our tires were going to fall off. I thought we had a big problem when we were getting ready to go to Arkansas. Yep. Um, because we had the kids following us in the car and we made them sit in the car for like 20 minutes while we were on the phone with the mechanic trying to figure out if we had a serious like axle issue because vehicle tires don't do that. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, I wanna give you an idea of a couple of the TPMS systems that are out there, um, or at least the different styles. Um, you've got the pretty basic ones, which work okay. Um, we actually used this one for the first couple trips out. Uh, the display on it, it's nice. It's got a solar top to it. Um, it also does plug into a, a USB port, so you can power it that way. Uh, but it's only got three buttons on top. It's not super configurable, and um, it only supports four tires. The other thing that we found out about this one um, is a little hard to read, uh, but not too bad sitting up on the dash. But the other thing that we found out about this one is that it's really made for very short range. Um, so they say on the website, we got it off Amazon, they say on the website that it's really designed for, for car use. Um, but lots of people that we saw in the reviews have used it for small trailers. Um, about 25 foot and under seems to be the, the general consensus for, for what this would work for as far as range goes. Because it's a Bluetooth transmission from the um, caps that go on your valve stems to the, to the box here. So this one's okay, um, but because our trailer is a little bit longer, we would lose signal sometimes, and that's no good. Defeats the whole point. So we decided to go ahead and get something different. Uh, now I will mention this one we bought on Amazon. It was about $60, um, so not too bad. There are, there are systems out there that range up into the three, $400 range, um, and we just didn't want to spend that much money on it. But uh, at the end of the day, I think you kind of have to spend a little bit more than you're comfortable with uh, to get something that's gonna work for you. So what we upgraded to was this TST, um, tsttruck.com. This supports uh, up to, I think it's up to 20, 22 wheels, something like that. It'll support, I mean, maybe it's 18, because um, it'll support a semi-truck. So it can support um, as many tires pretty much as you're gonna have for most people. And it comes standard, I think it was a $200 purchase. It comes standard with four, um, uh, four caps that sit on your, your valve stems of your tires to read the pressure and the tire and the temperature. And then um, it also comes with a Bluetooth booster that we've got mounted to the front of our trailer um, on the, the little frame of the hitch there. And that gives us plenty of signal. It does take a minute or two for everything to pick up. Sometimes we do have to get on the road to get the tires to read, but um, it works really well. The other thing about this that made it so worthwhile for us um, is that it's programmable. So um, you put in what your tire pressure is supposed to be. Then uh, they go through these instructions that tell you, um, I think it's 15% uh, variance high and low. So if your tire pressure like ours is supposed to be 65 PSI, then you put your high threshold at like 72 PSI and your low threshold at I think 58 PSI. And then what'll happen is you'll get alarms, very loud, very hard to ignore alarms that something's going on. Um, it'll also send you a different alarm if you have a rapid tire um, pressure decrease. That way um, you know that you need to get over right now and, and do something about it. Spending the 200 bucks seemed like a, a good investment for a product that was gonna keep us safe and will grow with us as we need it to. So I highly recommend this. I'm not gonna do an install video on this. Um, there's actually a, another channel we follow that does a, that did a great um, unboxing and install video for this exact unit. Um, now they used the pass-through valves instead of the caps. We've got the caps that stick on. Um, they have a pass-through which sticks on so you can actually, you don't have to take the monitor off um, while you're putting air in the tire. Like I have to take my caps off and put air in the tire. Which brings me to another topic I'll touch on. There's lots of reviews out there for these systems, uh, but we did go ahead and buy an, uh, a, Vi, uh, a Vi Air um, air compressor unit, portable air compressor. It hooks up to your car battery or your trailer battery. Um, I think we got the 450 RV model, so it was made for RVs. It's got a couple special tools um, to reach behind like a dually situation or, um, and then it's got 
I think a hundred feet of hose um, so that you can get all around the truck and the trailer and all that. Um, actually, we've used it twice now. Uh, once to fill up our boat <laughs> and once to, um, when we were in Hannibal, we had the low tire pressure warnings go off and I was able to, to fill those up. What ended up happening is the tire pressures got so high from um, all the summer driving and the heat, it was getting cooler. It was all mid to low 70s, 60s in the evening up in Hannibal and um, all our tire pressure just went down. Now I'm a little worried because it's hot again <laughs> um, here in the Midwest. So I feel like they're gonna over expand, but the last trip they were fine. Um, but again, that's why you have something like this because you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to guess, you know. You know what your tire pressures are. You know what your tire temperatures are. Um, so pay attention to that stuff. So we're really, we're just trying to promote safety out there. Um, these are uh, our opinions based on our research and the people that we've talked to. Yes. Uh, everybody's gonna have different experiences. Do your own research. Really, what we're trying to do here is kind of give you something to think about, something to take home. Do your own research. Don't trust us. I mean, we try to be trustworthy, but we've been known to be wrong. Well, we're not, from time we're, to not time. <laughs> we're not tire experts. We're not RV experts yet. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Um, hopefully I didn't get too wordy. Hope I didn't lose you in there. I'm just trying to get that information out, get you guys thinking about safety and give you a starting point um, for doing your own research about tire safety and, and towing safety, really. So um, give us a like if that video was helpful. Share it with your friends. Uh, we'd love that. Subscribe to our channel. We've got lots of stuff out. Um, travel videos, informational videos, product reviews, Malcolm videos. Yeah, they're called Malcolm's Bug World. Yes. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in and stay safe out there.